Hello, friends and family, and welcome to today's Crippling Anxiety Meditation Hour. Um, first, we'll go over the ground rules as usual. Uh, I'm not a meditation teacher. This is not meditation instruction. Um, if you want to learn meditation, uh, there is a very simple 15-minute introduction that SN Goenka does um, and is available on YouTube and there's a 10-minute guided meditation that he does for Anapana that's also available on YouTube. <clears throat> um, today I wanted to discuss, uh, some of you may have noticed there is a video on this channel that is very long. It is an hour and five minutes. Um, it's a video that we took of a walk um, up a mountain in Himachal Pradesh and I had two intentions for that video. One was just to give again friends and family uh, a look at some of the, the outdoors that we had access to that they may not have access to especially if they're stuck in a city at the moment. Um, the other intention was to create a video which could act as a fence. And as far as meditation is concerned, the idea of a fence is something that a friend um, once gave to me. Um, and the idea is that before you sit down to meditate, you set up an intentional fence, mental fence, and you say, oh, okay, I won't go beyond this fence. And it's almost, it's almost kind of like creating a two-stage meditation process. If you realize that your mind has gone beyond the fence, which it will, um, then you kind of bring it back to the fence and then you bring it back to the object of meditation. Um, and soon you find your, your mind is only really wandering to the fence. And so the suggestion for the fence is something, something positive uh, or something neutral. Um, something positive would be um, that the fence is ideas of gratitude, um, ideas of compassion, um, and these are not things to meditate on, but these are limits to where you want your mind to go. And uh, I sort of thought that this mountain walk video would make um, a helpful background fence, especially to anyone who's trying to extend their anapan meditation practice where at the longer time periods it, it may get increasingly difficult um, to, to maintain awareness. And so the video itself, I mean, if you meditate eyes open and watch the video, you're not, I mean, at that point you're not even really meditating, but it's perfectly okay, you could try that. Um, but if you watch the video for some time and then you close your eyes and it just becomes background noise, um, like any other background noise, but it's relatively peaceful. Uh, it's quite quiet other than some birds and the, the crunch of our shoes. Um, and if you find your mind is wandering, it will probably wander to the sounds. And then when you notice, oh, I'm, I'm thinking about the sounds, I'm wondering what the sounds are, you can come back to the object of meditation. Um, and you can create a fence out of, out of anything, really. But the the idea um, behind the fence is is really just kind of identifying one layer in this constant outward in process of meditation um, meditating <laughs> so um, you'll find uh, that there are a lot of layers, and I'll actually talk about this in the next video, um, what these layers are and how you can sort of feel, oh, okay, I'm, 
I'm at this layer right now and I'm working my way and I'm working my way. Um, and the fence sort of works within the scope of the metaphor of training your mind or taming your mind like a wild animal or any animal for that matter. So um, you have a wild dog and uh, your mind is a wild dog. You want to train the wild dog to do as you say. So you tie it to a stake in the ground. And the stake in the ground is your breath. And you keep coming back to the stake. You keep coming back to the stake. And the, the rope is really, um, in this analogy, it's a long rope. You can go pretty far. Um, but in meditation, you can instantly come back to the stake where you're supposed to be. Um, and so this analogy is that over time, the animal keeps wandering and the animal will come back and know, okay, this is where I'm supposed to be. And the journeys will get shorter and shorter. You'll, you'll stop wandering so much and you'll eventually lie down at the stake. The animal will lie down at the stake. The mind will um, contain itself to this one spot, this, um, this spot where it can feel the breath. And the fence is sort of an extension of that. So the fence gives you an extra way to identify that the mind has wandered too far, that the animal has gone too far. Um, so I, I think it's a, it's a useful introductory tool. I think it's certainly something that should be left aside um, at some point, but especially to begin with, if you're struggling to commit to a daily meditation and you really want to, um, these small external tools um, can help you begin and then, and then you can let go of them um, once you're comfortable with just the breath, the breath totally unto itself um, and, uh, and you can stick with that. So if you want to take a look or listen, uh, <laughs> the video is Mountain Walk. Um, so you can have a look and see uh, if it helps you at all. Um, it is an hour long, so if you want to extend your Anapan meditation practice and you want a timer, um, the way to know that the video is coming to a close is that there, there are a few voices toward the end, the last five, ten minutes. Um, the silence starts to break. So um, that's it for today. We can start our ten minute timer here. I have my timer and you can start yours. I'll begin now.
that's our timer. Thanks, everybody, and we will see you tomorrow. Take care.